Hello, I am Sharon Haver of FocusOnStyle.com, and we're here today with oh, Brad Bowles from the Real Housewives of New York City and the editor at large for FocusOnStyle.com. And do you know what Brad's doing? Let me t let me share a secret. Do you think I look this huge normally? Do you think Brad <laughs> wants me to have all this light because he thinks I'm so cute and he wants me close to the camera? No, Brad is a pig. Brad is under the impression since I'm on the rolling chair. Yes. That if he sits all the way back, absolutely, he all looks thinner. petite, and petite thinner. and thinner, and I will look like a big shrek. Yes. So guess what, Brad? I'm going to sit all the way back here, and then really gonna, far back, and then I'm going to shove you right <laughs> close, right? So this is evil, evil trick. Oh, I know. I'm very good at it. But it's a segue because today we're going to talk about. Expanding being, bellies. That's right. Being pregnant. Yes. No news here. Not me. I'm not pregnant. But Nor am I. Not <laughs> and if I was, I'd make a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, I'd rather cover in Time magazine. I'd share it with you, right? Absolutely. Um, well, Sharon and I have actually been debating for quite some time whether or not you even need to bother when you're pregnant and still be fashionable. And you, now you know the answer coming from both of us. Yeah. Well, well, you know, obviously I have been pregnant and I do have a child. And, and you know, he's kind of... Oh, there he is. Screaming. Look at that. Oh, it's too much flash. Then I got a better picture of him. Want to see the kid? Look, look, look. See, this one was so cute. You know what he did in that one? He was sitting in his high chair. He was finally <laughs> old enough. And we had, of course, we always have construction. We had some contractors doing something here. And he took his milk because he's finally on the bottle. And he took his milk and he went, <laughs> and he was covered in milk. He was so cute. Now he's just a big monster. Really? So uh, now. But, you know, you he do? destroyed, yeah, he uh, destroyed my flat stomach, but don't tell me. Uh, well, one of the things that, that that I think we need to address is dowdy-looking women during pregnancy. You want to look hot, kind of. You know, you want to look I mean, like, like at least like, you're hot like, enough to get like, the way like, you like did. Like Heidi Klum hot? Like Claudia Schiffer hot? I agree. Or as hot as Bring you, it on. I, as hot as you can look. You don't want to sort of slump back, you know. So you don't want to look like Francine Fakaka at the <laughs> grocery store with the curlers on. No, he's crazy. With, but, you know, if you if it's not your first pregnancy and you have a bunch of other kids, sometimes it can be a little, you know, difficult than if it's your first one. Well, it's yeah, also or too. your I, only one. Well, you know, and also, too, I think that it, it depends on if you have a child earlier in your life than later in your life. No. So you no, no, no. I'm I wasn't, you know, I wasn't exactly a teen bride. <laughs> well, how about that woman in Denmark that had a baby at 67? Well, that's too old. But, you know, personal <laughs> choice, personal choice. But I think what happens is when you're pregnant, uh -huh. I, you, your body goes through stages, at least mine did. Right. And I seem to be able to wear the same size clothing for about six, seven week intervals. And I didn't really right. wear maternity clothes until I was way past my sixth month going into my and seventh. It, and so. at what point did you become completely psychotic and wanted to kill everybody within 10 feet of you? The la Oh, my, my son was three weeks early. I, the last couple of days, I felt like I was carrying a, you know, a dishwasher strapped onto me. And I was really... I, not I, having I, it. Not having it. You weren't having it. He ended up showing up three weeks early and I, I think we think he was in miscalculation. But I think he was right on time. Really? However, yeah. However, what I think you need to do is have just like you have an essential core wardrobe I think you need to have an essential right. maternity wardrobe okay. and since you are ever expanding you won't be wearing the same thing your whole pregnancy it's very true and if you were I mean it would get kind of hot and, and smelly and color or no color you're wearing I think you need to have basics so whether it's being a black bottom or a denim bottom or whatever it right. is you need to have a pair of pants some kind of skirt you can wear well, also and too, you can spend money in sweaters and, and because remem they're oversized sweaters last longer and remember you you want to slenderize not emphasize so you carry your darker colors on the bottom and you can do your lighter colors on the top meaning if you want to if you want to frame your face you can use jewel tones and scarves and scarves yeah and it's absolutely so you can do all of those things and then and you can go with the darker colors uh, on the bottom whether or not it's a skirt, uh, a long a long skirt. A pencil skirts are sensational on pregnant With a big top. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. But one of the things that, because that, you could see I was itching to talk. I was like, you in the background, get, trying to get that word in. I know. One of the things You're looking is, so slim. I'm looking so slim? Mm hmm you're going to see something nasty and he's buttering me up. One of the things is, you know, you think that, you know, oh, I could just put on my boyfriend's sweater or, oh, I can go just get an XL sweater. It's really not the case. And don't do the boyfriend's boxers. No, but, well, let's, one thing at a time. Wait, are we talking about marriage out of wedlock? 
husband, boyfriend look. <laughs> anyway, or what, whatever, girlfriends, I don't care. Whatever it is, you want to make sure that the, if you're, you're, if the you're arm, pregnant, it means that you were doing it. You were doing it with somebody, or, somebody. or somehow you got yourself pregnant, and we're not going to go up. in there. You, you <laughs> in vitro or otherwise, let me get to the point. What's the point? Blanche. Anyway, what you need to realize uh -huh. is your armholes should be kind of slim. So if you're wearing a men's oversized sweater, right. the armhole cut is a little large, and it's going to make you and your newfound girls look tremendous. So you want to make sure that the sweater is loose, but it still is rather fitted around your arms, and it keeps to a more in so, proportion look. So you, so you don't buy into the... The, the paper doll philosophy of life that everybody has one body type. No, absolutely not. Everyone has a different body type. Of course they and do. And when you're pregnant, you get bigger in different ways. Some women and just you get shift. the little You shift weekly. You shift. Your, sometimes your ribs get bigger. You get it more on your hips. I was Ooh. pregnant all over, lucky me. Some women are skinny as anything, and then they have the little basketball, and they're carrying high, and they're so lucky. It's true. So they can wear different types of clothes than someone who's more hippie when she's pregnant. Right. Or you can carry a 50 milli uh, millimeter Birkin bag and cover your waist. Which is another thing to keep in proportion is... <laughs> Now, you know, you may be able to use that tiny little bag, yeah. but suddenly, you know, on your later part of your Absolutely. pregnancy, you're huge. And also, too, you want to keep your bag in proportion in, with what you're... One of the things that happens after the birth, and this is, an, this is a whole other issue, is, you know, obviously, you're scrambling to get your body back in shape. You're doing whatever you can. But one of the things, you've now added more accessories to your life. You now have a baby carriage. You now have a, a car Stroller. seat. Stroller. It's all about you, the basket. You, you, you have, you now you have a diaper bag. I mean, they actually make some gorgeous diaper bags out there, by the way now they're, they're yeah, actually they're there's, there's some really great companies and again you don't have to spend tremendous amounts of money on this no there you can access so much of this now uh in in just even going on the internet it's, well, it's well, you know i'm going to diaper bags you know what one of my pet peeves on diaper bags is who's carrying the diaper bag is the baby carrying the diaper diaper bag or is the grown-up carrying the diaper no, bag? no your husband bag? should be carrying well that's a daddy bag but Oh, they, that's true. That's a good point. Now, daddy bags. But no, no, no. That means the diaper bag. I'm not a fan of the pink and frilly. Don't you, you think know? it's sexy when you find a man that actually steps up to the plate for yeah, his wife did. and I carries did. the diaper bag? He I did. love that. He did. He did? Yeah. On the back of the stroller. Now, you have to carry it here and there. I mean, you can't leave you to carry everything, right? I mean, it the must have killed your back. The kid. Well, it's all about the stroller. Oh, and how did you, by the way, how did you navigate uh, the winters in New York with a stroller and curbs? That's a whole thing. I'm getting and how many, how many rude, up. how many rude people just walk right by you oh, and don't even you. offer to help? And don't even help you get up that step. But you make, no. need to make sure when you're going stroller shopping that it's a stroller. Give it a little tip back that you can get it off the yeah. curb. I had this one beautiful fancy pram type stroller in the beginning. But you mean those ones that are like a, that cost as much as a DeLorean? No, it, it wasn't that expensive. But there are strollers are expensive. I Very. know what happened. I realized that that beautiful stroller could only go around the block. It was too heavy with the kid in it to actually right. lift it up a curve to cross the street. So they were like for people who want a mall walk. It's true. And also too, I think just it just like kind of staying green and going green and keeping green. One of the things that I've always recommended with a lot of my clients is if this is your last birth and you know you're not gonna have any more children, when it's over, don't be a clothes whore and keep those. You're not. You're never yeah, gonna use them away. Recycle. Got, recycle. Give them to a girlfriend that's pregnant if they're, or give them to charity because somebody out there who's pregnant may not be as fortunate as you and could use it. And again, Baby you, Buggy is a really great organization. There's all sorts of different organizations that you should definitely donate it. And also, absolutely. you know, if you're buying maternity clothes, you're not wearing them that long. As I said, you're only right. wearing them. You know, several weeks at a time, and don't and be and do not give it be, to someone who's in the next phase of their maternity. Absolutely, and don't be fooled by the way, thinking that uh, in the work in the in the work environment that you don't have to remain work appropriate in terms of your dress. Those clothes are out there for you as well. They're not expensive. There are many stores. Pea in a Pod is one of them. They're amazing. But even Target has some really nice yeah. maternity clothes that, that are great for the work. But you know, also think before you go buy them. Also think, you know, are you know, I had that allergy. You know, and then what are you going to do? Get a whole wardrobe of clothing that you need to like walk around wearing like that. So it's just you know. That's buy really them. unsightly. So That's just beautiful. That's how we're going to end this one. You me scratching and puking. All right. Anyway, what I want to say is you you actually what I'm the, my column this week actually is about the unsightly 
pregnant woman that doesn't want to pull herself together. You can check it out, focusonstyle.com. That sounds so horrible. Well, I love beautiful women, and pregnancy should be celebrated. Yeah, you Dress. should. Well, you are beautiful, and your face looks different, and you Amazing. should just adapt Go to... for it. Go Look for fabulous. it, and wear great shoes. All right, guys, bye. Take care, and see you soon. Bye-bye.